This is an 82 millimeter circular polarizer. It was very expensive, it was $150, and I needed it for my wide angle lens. Polarizers allow you to essentially block out polarized light. When we talk about polarization, we are talking about the angle of light. Now this, that may sound kind of confusing, but it essentially means is what angle the light direction is if you're looking almost behind the light wave. If it's going up and down, then it would be, it would be polarized in the up and down positions. If it was going side to side, left and right, then the light would be said to be horizontally polarized. And the truth of the matter is, when light strikes a smooth, flat surface that is not metal, the light becomes polarized. So we're talking about things like water, uh, shiny wood, certain kinds of plastic, uh, cardboard, some sh cardboard can be polarized light. And so the idea is that when light, whatever light strikes a flat surface, when it comes off, it becomes polarized in the horizontal plane, meaning, meaning the angle of the light is now side to side. So how in the world does a polarizer prevent that light from entering into the camera? It's a pretty good question. And so here I have a polarizer, a Koken polarizer, this just rotates and when you rotate a polarizer, it's going to block the light out at some point. So what we decided to do was to make a blown up model of how a polarizer works. It's essentially a teaching tool, a visual teaching tool, that this is how polarizers work, in that polarizers are made up of many very, very small, very, very thin, very, very parallel lines in the filter. So the way this works, let's say we're shooting um, water, okay, and we have this polarized light bouncing off water coming into our lens. When light hits water and it bounces off, it becomes polarized left to right in the horizontal plane. So here comes the wave, it's all doing all kinds of crazy things, it hits the water and it comes off going side to side. And what happens is that light is able to still go through the filter and not be interfered with in any way. So what's happening when a photographer rotates the polarizer and light is coming off the water, here it comes, hits the water, and it's going side to side, look what happens. The wave is interfered with because it's doing this motion side to side and the light cannot get through. What this means is the only light that will be able to pass through the filter is the unpolarized light that's bouncing around, the angles are in all directions. Only light coming like this is going to be able to get through. So I know that's kind of a rough explanation, but if you think of a circular polarizer as a set of parallel lines, and that when you rotate them, that is going to block polarized light if it's moving up and down or left and right. And that's why you rotate the filters to find the position where it's blocking light. If you have two polarized filters and you take one of them and rotate it 90 degrees on the other like this, this is going to block all of the light. There will not be able, no light should be able to get through that if they're true polarized filters. A really cool thing is you can purchase polarizing filters for your strobes, which means you can create polarized light by putting one of these polarized filters over your strobe and it is only going to allow light of a certain angle to escape. Now, these are both polarizing filters. Watch what happens. Can you see my face in there? So I'm gonna rotate these 90 degrees. Watch what happens. So no, no light should be able to come through it. This is not a magic trick. It's just polarizing filters here. In any event, that is a really quick crash course on how polarizers work and how they block the angle of light coming into the lens. If you enjoyed this video, you might wanna check out my lighting crash course. I'll put a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.